Go on. Mmm, too hungry for more. Is it king size? No, probably not enough. Where are you going? Make my own. Today, what we're gonna do is make the biggest Reese's ever eaten on YouTube. What we're gonna need, a stick of butter, about six cups, milk chocolate chips, measuring cups, a little bowl of peanut butter, about three cups, 24 ounces. Our mold, which in this case is the top of a disposable pie pan. Disposable pie pan. Black paper, three cups of powdered sugar, and our mixing bowl. I want a gigantic Reese's, I want this to come out by at least three pounds. At least three pounds. So we're gonna start with three cups of milk chocolate chips. One, two, about three. Then we're gonna take this to the microwave, you're gonna nuke it in like 30 second increments. If you try to nuke it for longer than that, to melt it all at once, you will probably burn it and ruin it. I've done it a billion times, it's super irritating, and then you just have to go to the store and buy regular side pieces and then really eat this. All right, so we have our melted chocolate. You can see it's pretty melted as I spray it all over the kitchen. Oh god. All right, we're just gonna cover the bottom and bring the sides. I think that'll look good. Perfect. Blend up with some nonsense that looks like that. We're gonna put it in the fridge. Probably about mm, two hours to be safe. My daughter would tell you to put it in the blast chiller. And now we're gonna make the peanut butter filling. We're gonna do about 24 ounces of peanut butter. Oh Jesus. Be careful, don't drop it. Chunky nonsense. Down below, let us know if you have chunky peanut butter, creamy peanut butter. Okay. Now we'll measure out, uh, not quite yet, there's three cups of powdered sugar. We're gonna end up doing about three quarters of a stick of butter. And a little bit at a time, I think what we'll do, what I really wanted to avoid, is mix the rest of this by hand. Anybody ask me if I go to the gym, if I train, I don't. I make giant raises all day. Just about all together, up here, we have a giant bowl of sugary, delicious peanut butter with a bunch of little random sugar nubs in there. Take our easy foil pan. This does look pretty gigantic and delicious. Welcome back to Cargo Shorts Down in the Kitchen. Uh, it's been about four hours. This is what we have. I actually want to try to detach this from the mold. It'll be a lot harder to do if you wait until it's filled. I'm gonna push. I was less nervous than my kids were. Oh my goodness. Oh. <gasps> so now we're just gonna get in there, get that parchment paper kind of out. We're gonna put her back in the shell. She's gonna fit like a glove. Now we're gonna take our peanut butter filling, which is pretty substantial. Are you me? Pop. Ah. Kind of skish that down a little bit. So this is what we have. So oh my goodness, is this heavy. And now we get to make our top. Back to cooking. This is the leftover one cup from the four cup bags. This is two more cups. About two tablespoons of butter. Yep. Like that. I'm going to nuke this again, 30 second intervals. Here we go. Oh, here we go. All right. Everywhere. So this top is going to be thick with two C's. That's nice, nice. We will weigh this when we pop it out. Yeah. <laughs> Probably train with this thing. I'm excited. Let's take this out of the fridge and see if we didn't mess the whole thing up. This is what we have. A gigantic peanut butter cup. 0, 0.0 ounces. It's almost 5 pounds. 79.2 ounces. We have the identical plastic container here. This mammoth plastic container that it came in weighs a whopping 0.6 ounces, so it was 78.6 ounces for just under five pounds. Woo! Are you not excited? I am excited. <laughs> Roughly 2,200 plus grams, meaning it is over 110 times the size of a regular Reese's peanut butter cup, meaning I might actually get my Reese's peanut butter cup thick today, and I am extremely excited to pop this bad boy out of here. Oh, 
You know what's not gonna stick? The bottom. Eat your heart out, Reeses. So now we actually get to enjoy this monstrosity. I guess we just get started. Let's give this a taste test. I'll tie stick. Mm. I love the assistant. Perfect. So we'll get you the macros. This is delicious. I'm not gonna lie. I love chocolate. I love peanut butter. I love you for watching this. Definitely dense though. The peanut butter is super good. Oh. If you want to make one of this size, um, recipe is going to be included. It'd be cool to do for maybe if you have like 20 people coming over or 50 people coming over because it's about the size of 110, a little more than 110 regular Reese's peanut butter cups. So depending how much you like Reese's, you can make them. You can even do the bottom layer like white chocolate, top layer dark chocolate, a lot of different ways you can do that. All right guys, macros on this. 1162 grams of carbs, 264 grams of protein, and around 743, 45 grams of fat for a total of just under 12,000 calories, about 11,800 and change. I'll put the exact macros right here, or here, or wherever she wants to put them on the screen. Just not over the money maker right here. And around 977 grams of sugar, a little under two, it was about two pounds, two and a quarter pounds. <laughs> Peanut butter is probably my favorite part. It's like pizza crust. Put it to the side. How do you normally eat races? Sudo just asked me how I regularly eat Reese's. My eyes, I can't even think about it. I've got a normal size Reese's in my hand. I'm trying to, I don't know, I think I just eat them. Um, depends on which one. Like Kit Kats, I'm particular in how I eat them, and I kind of bite around the edges and try to save the middle wafer part. And, um, it's weird. Yeah, it is weird. Or like Twix, even. Sometimes I'll eat the caramel and chocolate part off the top and save the cookie and eat that. But I don't know, how do you guys eat Reese's? Do you eat around the edges and save the middle? Um, do you somehow eat the middle and then save the edges? <laughs> uh, if you do that, I'm impressed and I kind of want to see how that works. Um, but yeah, I know everyone's got weird preferences like me with the Twix and Kit Kat, so. Well, you know. For anybody who's thinking, maybe it's not that heavy, maybe he's just pretending. Yeah, I'm not that good at pretending, ask my kids. I'm just like that this came out that well, though. The first time I've ever done giant Reese's. I love to bake and stuff, but I've never done Obviously, <laughs> I bought this peanut butter cup, so I'm kind of really happy this came out. It makes me kind of want to try other gigantic creations. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Um, I can make some giant five to ten pound monstrosity, and I need it. It's pretty good. It's pretty satisfying as far as my Reese's cream goes. I don't think Sudo is actually going to share her Reese's. So this is a better bet. stick to like a bodybuilding ass diet six ish days a week uh, typically my cravings are saved for like practice days or training days but if i do crave candy generally it's going to be like a reese's or i'm picturing like thin mints like mint and chocolate together raspberry and chocolate together what do you think is the number one thing you guys crave i know like mickey's a huge fan of like brownie for me it's reese's a lot of time or um kid cereal this is another big one i love to do like fruity pebbles or um lucky charms things like that Weary, please clean up your station. Go! Oh. No debris. Clean station. Clean station. This one's for you, Mr. Barclay. Okay. I'm gonna play other food. <laughs> I'm saying you ate that like a gentleman.
Now you have pretty much the size for regular reasons. <sighs> that was pretty delicious. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that was a challenge that kind of stayed delicious the whole way through. That was a lot of fun to make. Good amount of fun to eat too. So if you guys have any other cool ideas like this, maybe giant cookies, giant brownies, please shoot them down below. Let us know what you think. Until next time, uh, this was awesome. I'd like to thank my lovely assistant, uh, the beautiful Miss Sudo, for helping me out with... Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.